Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn how to use an embroidery hoop to embroider some stitches. To use the embroidery hoop, it's basically two different hoops that are held together by this little tension screw. To loosen, you twist one way so that you can remove the inner circle from the outer one. We're using just one sheet of felt for this project. We're going to put the inner circle on the other side, take the outer circle, and you're going to press them together so the circles meet. If it doesn't quite go on, you can loosen it up a little bit more. Now, you want to make sure that this fabric is tight. With felt, we don't want to pull too tight, but you do just want to make sure that you go around the circle, giving it a little gentle tug. And then when it feels like the hoops are together, twist that tightening screw until it feels nice and tight. We are going to design a pocket. For this pocket, we're just sketching the shape in pencil. So at the top of it, we're going to do a horizontal line, two vertical lines down, and then you can decide how you want to finish the bottom, either with a straight line, maybe a curve, or a V. I'm going to finish mine with a V. There are a lot of um, special marking pens for doing this type of work, but with our classroom, all we have are pencils, so we're just kind of making do with what we have. After you've gotten the design of the pocket, now you want to think about how we want to decorate this. We're decorating it with stitches, so back stitch, running stitch. Um, you also can add a detail on. So for this one, I'm going to use this little piece of brown felt, and I'm going to be cutting out a leaf shape. Felt is thin enough that if you want something symmetrical, you just fold it in half. So folding in half. Doo -doo -doo. To stitch this onto our pocket, we'll get our needle and our embroidery floss ready. To begin stitching, you always want to stitch from below to begin. We want to hide our knot. We don't want the knot shown on the top. So come up from underneath and poke through. If you're worried about this piece moving, you can use a pin to help give it a little bit more stability. To attach this, you can decide what type of stitch to do. You could do the running stitch, up, down, up, down, maybe a back stitch if you want a solid line, or you can do the whip stitch. So I'm going to do the whip stitch where I'm going to come up. And because I'm not at the edge, I'm going to go down here and then come up in this place. Because I'm just trying to tack this fabric onto this fabric, I can keep my stitches a little farther apart than I would if I was sewing a pillow and worried about stuffing leaking out. Let's take a look at a design that's already done. Here's a pocket that's already done. It has a blue cat that's been attached on, and then I added some extra details on it using the floss. Now, I'm ready to cut this out. You can see my pencil line is still there, and I also added this detail on the edge. When I'm cutting felt, I want to keep it flat on the table. Keep the extras, so we'll use those for other scraps. Now, we're going to take this pocket and we're going to attach it to either a pillow or a bag. Here are the options. If you want to make a bag, you can fold a piece of felt in half. And when we sew the bottom and one of the long sides, this creates like a pouch and then we can add straps. Or we could do that same thing where we take two sheets and then sew all four sides, add stuffing, 
and we've created a pillow. For this one, I think I'll make a pouch. Now, I want to attach my pocket before I sew the edges. So decide where the pocket's going to go. You don't want to put it in the middle of something you're folding in half because then it ends up on the edge and that would be kind of weird. Put it in the middle. Feel free to stick a couple pins in it so it doesn't move on you. And if we want to keep this a real pocket that's going to work, you are not going to sew along the top edge. To sew the pocket on, we can use our embroidery hoop again, putting the smaller hoop behind the area where you're working. Put the pocket directly in the center. Push the top hoop on. If it doesn't line up right the first time, try again. To begin, I would start at one of the top two corners and decide what type of stitch are you doing. I'm going to do the whip stitch again, so I'm going to go down, come up on the pocket fabric, and go down right off the edge of the pocket fabric. I'm going to keep these stitches short and close. Continue this all the way around until you get to this top corner. When you are finished with your pocket, pop the embroidery hoop off. You can check, make sure that your, so knots, your are knots are secure so your pocket is not going anywhere. And then you can finish your project. Decide if you're going to have visible stitches, like if I'm going to fold this to turn it into some sort of a pouch or a bag, I can stitch and you will see the stitches just like we can see them up here. Or if you're somebody who wants to hide stitches, maybe turning your project inside out and then you can stitch and then turn the project so that way those stitches are hidden. Last tip for you is making sure that the knots are hidden from view. So anytime you're starting your first stitch, start it from the inside, the underneath of that first layer, like this. And then that way if I am stitching on top, you can't see my knot. I hope those tips are helpful. Can't wait to see what your pockets turn out to be.